Hey there guys, my name is Mano and I'm one of the two people that run this YouTube channel. And today I've got a very short tutorial. Okay, let me just show you something. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna this is trap code sound keys tutorial and I'm gonna teach you how to make stuff bounce with the music. So let me show you what I made earlier. Uh, we'll see. Oh, <laughs> I was watching How to Train Your Dragon. One sec. So this is a template that comes out on uh, Thursday, which is day after tomorrow. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It comes out on Tuesday, uh, next week. I'm, I'm just thinking when this video is going to go up and accordingly. <laughs> Anyways, so this is the template I made. Let me lower the volume to... Let's do... 40% yeah you, you guys might be seeing this a little glitched out that's because my computer got hunt handle everything you know while recording watching a 1080p 60 fps video and everything anyway basically this is the concept and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make all of this bounce like the way Trap City does right now. Actually, uh, so this video went up today. Well, today for me, uh, day for yesterday for when this video is gonna go up, it's it's all very confusing. It's time travel. Uh, anyway, so I uploaded this video. The template I made after uh, Proximity's design, and uh, this guy commented that they that he really liked it so i asked him what would you like next my version of trap city no copyright sounds or uh, dubstep gutter and uh, he said that he would like to see the updated effects of trap city so i had already had a trap city video prepared trap city template but i don't have their updated effect because when i checked this is their updated effect So you can see how the logo bounces up and down to the music. So that's what we are gonna create in this tutorial. All thanks to KH here. Okay, if KH, if you're watching this, you're an awesome person. Okay, so I've already made something like this. This is a template that's gonna go on in two weeks, I think. I'll just show you. You can see how the audio spectrum jumps up and down with the music. So that's uh, mostly trap code sound keys. It's a plugin by Red Giant. Okay, so let's get to it. Here's uh, another folder I made for the same thing. And let's open it up in After Effects. Okay, so here's what the template looks like. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make a new solid. I'm gonna call it sound keys just for organization purposes I'm gonna make it comp size though it already is just just in case the comp is 1920 by 1080p with 60 fps okay so I'm gonna close that up for now I'll just show you guys everything that's happening in this template right now except for the background I would like all of it all of this area to bounce up and down to music so let's uh, not touch the vignette either and uh, let's take all of this and pre-compose this and uh, what do we call it what do we call it um, uh, stuff <laughs> so creative okay so now the size of stuff is 100 when it's 100 it's this size when it goes to 125 it becomes this size 150 it becomes this size I would like it to go between 100 and 150 according to the base so let's turn sound keys uh, solid back on and go to effects and preset go to sound keys um, sound keys has a space in between <laughs> okay so now we've got this weird looking thing uh, we're gonna set the audio layer to uh, replace this file with your music which is basically um, the the song that was playing earlier uh, El hold on featuring Ranja by Elliot Berger I'm, I'm sorry if I'm screwing up how that name is pronounced 
anyway so uh, let's go to range one uh, so range one is active now uh, what I'll do is I'll take take this point of range one and I'll, I'll just scroll through music scroll through the audio file first let's solo this so it renders a lot faster so you can see there are some certain points where the bass really kicks in but it doesn't do that all the time this is the bass these are the low end frequencies so let's see so this seems like a good part let's take one of its corners by the way this is the box this is the input box and this is the output so what I would like to do is I would like to select just this single one right here and the second corner I would bring it down to over here and I can actually just click and drag these as well and I would like it to go to 150% only when this kicks in like from here to here it will go from 100 and 150 over here it's like 120 uh, over here it's like 125 or something yeah and it will just gradually go up according to how high this part is in the song so if these if these parts won't actually bounce uh, maybe I should make it a little bit bigger because of this particular song it's all relative to what's what your audio file is like like if you're using a song with a lot of bass then that's what you need to do and if you're using a song with less bass then you need to do something else for example instead of using the bass you can even take the snare from somewhere over here or the high end frequencies from somewhere over here but I would like you to react to the bass so I'm just gonna set it about here okay uh, fall off is like uh, uh, like if I would like uh, after it's done bouncing I would like it to go instantly back to 100% or if I would like it to slowly go to 100% so I would like it to be linear uh, fall off time should be one second so it takes about one second for it to go back to 100% so that way the whole animation is a lot smoother than suddenly it flashing from 150 to 100 even though that's good for some dubstep and other songs with a lot of you know boom 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 but I would like this to be a lot more uh, transitional and uh, that's not a real world I think <laughs> anyway so these are the frequencies I'm selecting so I would like to make this custom and I would like the minimum to be 100 and the maximum to be 150 okay and uh, let's press apply that is very very important so this will take a second once that's done your cursor will go back to normal so while we wait for that I will tell you guys a dirty joke <laughs> I don't know any dirty jokes by the way I'm wearing this cap only because my hair looks disgusting right now it's very very long and that's planned I plan to make it go even longer because I wanna I wanna be a hipster I wanna shape both sides of my head and make a ponytail or something like a small bun okay so now that this is done uh, let's unsolo and actually hide this layer this is the stuff layer uh, let's press S on that now we've got the scale let's press U on sound keys so we've got output 1 and now when we go to stuff I'll alt left click this timer thingy and then I'll take this pick whip, pick whip or pick wick, call something like that. I'll click and drag it onto output one, and then I'll click somewhere else, and it should work. Let's see. Yeah, it's it's bouncing. Yes, it's bouncing. It's definitely bouncing. It's going between hundred and hundred and fifty that is awesome I'll save that just in case my computer crashes or something which doesn't really happen often but you know it's an old habit and it's a good habit so yeah 
that's that's how it is now obviously rendering this is gonna take a little longer so I'm gonna not gonna do this exactly right now but I will render this for 10 seconds or something and put it right after this video so thank you for watching guys and uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you stay awesome